Hey, 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 good morning. It's Joanne from Encourager coming on with Thursday morning's encouragement. I wanted to encourage you with the concept of don't let the weight control you. And when I'm saying weight, I'm saying W-A-I-T, that kind of weight. Um, this morning I was exercising and I had picked up medium to heavy-ish weights for the workout and midway through I thought to myself, oh my word, <laughs> I wish I had another set to use occasionally because I'm getting tired. Um, I'm getting tired of this weight. And um, it started to kind of wear on me and then I had to really change my mindset. And it got me thinking, that kind of weight is W-E-I-G-H-T, uh, but there's a very different kind of weight in our lives that is just as challenging as carrying a heavy load, um, like when you're working out. And I've experienced that in my life too. Uh, we fostered our daughter for three and a half years and it was a very long wait. It was incredibly challenging. Um, it was an emotional roller coaster. In the end, we ended up adopting her, um, but there were many moments when we thought we would not be able to adopt her. Um, and it's a beautifully painful process to go through foster care. Um, however, the weight at times was controlling me and that's what can happen. Um, a lot of times in life we're waiting. Uh, maybe we're waiting on meeting the perfect person. Maybe we're waiting on a diagnosis. Maybe we're waiting for that job call, you know, that interview um, follow-up. And it can be grueling and it can be challenging. Um, and we don't always have control over the weight. Oftentimes we don't. And I do believe God teaches us and grows us in those moments, but it's tough. And the weight can control our emotions and it can control our energy level and it can control our motivation. And we can't let the weight, W-A-I-T, control our mind, body, and soul. We don't have control over it, but it can control us if we allow it to. So we are in control of our response and our reactions to the waiting. So I encourage you today, are you in waiting? Are you struggling in the wait? Have hope, have faith that there's a reason why you're in waiting. There's a reason, maybe it's for your protection. Maybe it's because something better is to come. Maybe it's for you to process the news you will hear. I don't know why you're in waiting. You might not know why you're in waiting, but there is a reason, there is a plan. It is for our good and we can't let the weight control our emotions and our feelings. We have to control that. Uh, we can ask God for strength. We can ask God for wisdom and patience. He will provide it. Um, but we can't let the weight control us. It would love to do that. Don't let it. Don't let the weight control you, ladies. Be in control of your weight. Ask God for help. If you're in the waiting, I've been there, and I would love to talk to you about it. If you're struggling in the weight and you're not suffering well, reach out to me. I'd love to personally talk to you about your waiting and what that looks like. All right, ladies, love to you all. I will be back again tomorrow, Friday. Have a good one. Get out there today. Be a woman who encourages. Are you not feeling so encouraging today? I can promise you that if you encourage her, it encourages you back, okay? When you bless others, you're blessed in turn. Get out there and be a woman who encourages. Smile at somebody today. Ask them how they're doing. Ask them a follow-up question when they just say okay or good. Check in on people. Be a woman who encourages. Join my mission. Become an encourager. Love to you all. See you tomorrow.